What is up guys, it's your boy Jimmy P back again with more Contober content. Today we're going to take a look at uh, some of the autographs that I have acquired over the years. Now these might have been given to me or I actually acquired them myself. So I'm really excited to share some of these with you, tell you some stories about them. Let's get into it. Alright, so first up is actually the newest addition to my collection and was given to me by a close friend of mine. Big B, you might check out his YouTube channel. He doesn't have much going on right now, but maybe if he gets some new subscribers, he'll put out some new content. Anyway, the last time I went to visit him, he uh, ended up picking this up for me, knowing that I'm a huge horror fan here. This is obviously Warrington Gillette, the second Jason from Friday the 13th Part 2. Uh, there's a certificate of authenticity on the back side, but uh, this is an actual signature from him. I love that picture. Friday the 13th 2 is obviously an iconic movie. The first appearance of Jason in adult form killing people with that sack head. And then at the end he's got the old Cyclops face thing going on. So was really excited to get this a nice addition to my collection. Ho ho ho, hello. So this next one is obviously Danielle Harris. Uh, unfortunately, I did not acquire this for myself. Uh, a long-time brother of mine I haven't seen in a while, his name was Tony. He went to uh, Texas Frightmare Weekend and she was there and got that autograph for me. Super freaking sweet. Love that picture. When I was a child, you know, she was a child in the Halloween movie, so like we kind of, you know, she she's pretty much all my age and like it was crazy seeing her grow up as I was growing up in the stuff that she ended up being in. A modern day screen queen, super excited to have this. Alright, now we're getting into the exciting stuff. These next sets of autographs are ones I actually acquired and met these guys myself. Now, I went to Rock and Shock. I believe it was 2013 or 14 in Worcester, Massachusetts. It was my first and only horror convention. I so desperately wanted to go back to another one with this new pandemic thing. Who even knows what's going to happen? But uh, when I saw that Nick Prisip... I hope I'm saying this right. It's Principe or Principe. Uh, let me know. But he was definitely like the first person that I wanted to see. I know that Late to Rest hadn't been out for very long. Uh, when it came out, it was like a breath of fresh air. One of the best slasher movies I had seen in a while. So the first day of the con, like I, I knew he was the first person that I was going to go and see. So I'm waiting in line and they open the doors. And we, we're pretty much like the middle towards the front of being the first people in line. We waited for a little bit. Uh, so I'm going in there, rushing, trying to find this guy. He's right up at the front, pretty much, like when you're walking straight in, and like nobody was going to his table. I see all these people going to see Robert England, King Hodder, all those classics. But I wanted to meet this guy and just tell him how awesome that Laid to Rest was and how I was excited for Laid to Rest 2 and all this stuff. So I go and meet the guy, super freaking nice. I go and get an autograph. Uh, buy a t-shirt. So I buy the t-shirt and it gives me this extra autograph. I'll show you the first autograph next, but this was the extra one that he gave me for buying the shirt and telling me all this cool stuff. And it says, to James, I like you. I'll kill you last. Freaking ridiculous. Uh, he told me all kinds of stuff about the making of the stuff. Uh, like I said, gave me this autograph for free on top of the stuff that I bought. Told me all kinds of cool stuff. Told me that Late to Rest 2 was going to happen before they had announced it. So that was all awesome. Super nice guy. Man, I freaking love this one. This is the first one that he did for me. Two James, kill all day, every day. Freaking ridiculous from Chrome Skull himself. Uh, super happy to have these. I can't wait for Laser Rest 3. I hope it happens. Uh, if you haven't seen the Laser Rest series, definitely at least check out part one. Part two is good, but part one is definitely where it's at. Super happy to have this. Oh yeah, this is super dope right here. I got to meet Leslie Vernon himself, behind the mask, Nathan Basil, I believe his name is. Uh, he was a super shy guy, he like wasn't much for talking, but uh, he definitely did my request for me and told me all about his cardio efforts. Uh, super happy to have that crap, you know, like I know some people when they get autographs they don't want to have their names on it, but you know, this was for me and I don't plan on selling this. So, I'm super happy to have this. It was cool to meet him. He uh, was super cool about the autograph. I don't really have too much more to say about what was going on with him, but I'm happy to have it. Yeah, this is ridiculous. So, they had a lot of people from Nightmare on Elm Street 3 and 4 there. I was definitely thinking about some iconic moments from Nightmare on Elm Street series, and you know, some of my always favorite lines were from uh, Ken Sagos as Kincaid. 
And of course my favorite is Friday, you pussy! So I had to get him to do that and he was super cool about it. He gave it to me. And then uh, I had to wait like 30 minutes in line to see Robert England. He was super cool. He was in a rush. He, he, you know, they told him you could ask two or three questions. I just asked him stuff about being in the makeup and how, like being tight, if he feels like he's been typecast, stuff like that. He was super cool. Anyway, he said, I'll sign anything you want. So I was like, I have to have my iconic Freddy line. And he did it for me, no problem. You shouldn't have buried me. I'm not dead. Super awesome that I have this. It's just really freaking cool. All right, so Kane Hodder right here, freaking awesome. He actually wrote my whole name out like a madman. Uh, he was super awesome when I was talking to him. He was asking me questions. Like he's like, your last name is Purcell. I know some Purcells in Hollywood. Are you related to any of those guys? And I was just like, uh, unfortunately not. I wish I was. But, uh, you know, he said that they were all really good people and that that was an awesome last name. And uh, I asked him to show me his tattoo under his freaking lip and he had no problem showing me that kill tattoo. And he was even handing out chokes for free. I had him choke me. Freaking ridiculous. That dude is strong as shit. Um, also, you know, I noticed walking to the convention, going to see other... Uh, celebrities that he was kind of like the prankster he was always getting up and going into other people's booths messing with them and stuff but uh he's a super nice guy it was super awesome to meet him uh i didn't feel rushed or anything when i was talking to him he answered every question i ever had and so that was freaking awesome king hottery to the man well that's all my horror autographs i hope you enjoyed this little video where we checked out my loot i hope someday that we can get back to a sense of normalcy and i can go to another horror convention where i can meet some of my horror icons i uh the only other stuff i have in here is a bunch of wrestling autographs because i either go to horror movie stuff or wrestling stuff that's just what jimmy p does but uh if you guys want to see my wrestling autographs i'd be happy to uh do another video and show you guys that stuff Anyway, for Rod of Peach Productions, I'm Jimmy P. Stay tuned for more Contober content, and I'll see you later.